Hi, my name is Suzanne Snyder, and over the last 10 years, I've been working and continue to work with many educators who teach investing skills and strategies. And I've met all sorts of personalities in that time. And what I've learned is how to pull out some of the nuggets of wisdom and get to the core of what they teach. So today I'm going to be asking AJ Brown, the president and founder of Trading Trainer, a juicy question, and let's see if I can pull out some great advice for our viewers. Hi, AJ, welcome, how are you? Hi, thanks for having me, and yes, I'm one of your personalities. <laughs> a great personality at that. Well, um, I wanted to um, just say that you have some awesome initiatives going on at Trading Trainer, and one of my favorites that I wanted to bring up is your periodic webinar where you give your community the opportunity to ask you anything over at askajonline.com. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I'm going to pull over on my screen the Ask AJ website. Um, it's at Ask AJ Online, and what we do is once a month roughly we pull together a webinar for the public so you don't have to be part of any of our programs and all we ask the price of admission is that you give us your single most burning question that you'd like to have answered about investing and or trading and then you submit that question and what we do on our side is we accumulate all those questions and we get the top 10 of those questions, the ones that are most asked often. And we also cross-reference it with the Ask AJ calls we've done in the past so that we don't answer any question twice. And we just get on the call and let everybody join us and we answer those top 10 of the hottest, most burning questions. So it's kind of a fun thing to do. It lets us let people know answers to their questions. You know, um, it, it's a fun time. Yeah, it sounds great, and um, what a great service to provide your community with, and um, allows them to pick your brain, which is great, and and that's what we're going to be doing today. So, in the spirit of getting you warmed up for your next Ask AJ webinar, um, I'm going to ask you a burning question. We've done a few of these interviews now in the past, and, and the one question that we left off with that I want to get your answer on today is, how long did it take you to go from beginning being an investing newbie to consistently profitable? So from newbie to consistently profitable, about how long did it take you? Well, I want to preface this with the idea that I took the scenic route. So okay. in 1997, I started this whole process. I was working at a uh, big company in Silicon Valley named Hewlett Packard and I was making nice income for a single man at the time. And so I was able to uh, afford on the weekends to go to the hotel seminars. We didn't have webinars back then, so we'd have to actually show up at a hotel. And that first year, I wound up spending $27,000 on seminars that uh, every weekend. And then uh, in addition to that, trying all the different strategies I learned, I think I gave about $81,000 back to the market. So it wound up costing me more than my engineering degrees cost me, but it was well worth it. And I still have to be honest, uh, Suzanne, I did not learn investing just by showing up and buying the books and listening to those seminars. Uh, it took me until about the year 1999, 2000, to really start to get it to jive. And the way that I did that was I cornered the same faces that were showing up at these uh, seminars. I cornered them at the water cooler one afternoon on a Saturday uh, when we were getting our 15 minute break from the speakers. And I said, hey, do you guys wanna get together and try this and do it together and look over each other's shoulders? best decision I ever made. And once I got into the group, which I actually think um, is a better indicator of how long it took me to be successful, it was more like about four or five months instead of years. Um, and that's because when you're in that group, not only do you have other people looking over your shoulder uh, and giving you advice and you do the same in return, but you also have accountability. 
those folks will make sure that you are, uh, you know, showing up when otherwise you would probably fizzle out on your own because they depend on you just as you depend on them. Uh, you divvy up the tasks of trading and then it makes it important that everybody keeps showing up. But also you've got all this um, feedback in the world around us where people are going to tell you and they were telling me that you're crazy for doing this. And every time I would have a little setback, a little bit of a loss, it would remind me all those voices that were telling me that I was crazy to learn how to do investing. Um, they'd echo in my head and I'd lose a lot of momentum. Well, being in the group, you'd show up and you'd talk to these folks on the phone, you talk to them in person, however you set up your group, and they would motivate me back because they were on the same uh, path as I was. So uh, you always hear that instead of trying to do this by trial and error, you should find some sort of coach or person to follow in their footsteps in addition, I agree with that, but you should also have a group that you're doing this with. Get into an investment group where you're all following in the footsteps and all checking each other because as soon as I did that, if you started the clock then, it would have been four to six months rather than years that I spent just spinning my wheels. Amazing. Great advice. So yeah, to recap the benefits of doing that, it's really to fast track the investing curve and learning curve that you have when you start investing and then accountability, which is huge. And and then just to have somebody going through the same thing that you are. And when and you support. get discouraged, you can pump each other up. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, that's great advice. Thank you for sharing that. And um, I hope our listeners got something from this. Next time, we're going to talk about what strategies do you use to exit or manage active trades. So we want to make sure that you tune back in to get uh, AJ's answer to that. And I just want to say one more time um, to our listeners, if you have any burning questions for ask or for AJ, you can ask them over at askajonline.com. All right. Thanks a lot for being here today, AJ. Thank you. Take care.